Now, scientific hypotheses are tested through experimentation, which is the empirical underpinning of modern science. If dozens or hundreds of experiments support a result, it might be considered scientific. Natural science tests propositions with a restricted number of experiments. For instance, only some ravens can confirm the statement, ravens are all black. To clarify, even if all living ravens are verified, the deceased and unborn ravens cannot be verified. In the 1950s, American philosopher Hempel proposed the raven paradox to challenge this test situation's natural science. The original proposition is its converse in logic. The statements, all ravens are black, and all non-black things are non-raven are comparable. If you prove one, you validate the other. According to natural science testing, the following argument arises. A pair of shoes is blue, not black, so it's not a raven. A rose is red, not black, so it's not a raven. A chimney is gray, not black, so not raven. Everything that is not black is not raven. All non-black things are non-raven. Ravens are black because all ravens are black. Equal sign, all non-black things are non-ravens. The same shows all ravens are white. A pair of shoes are blue, not white, so it's not a raven. A red rose is red, not white, so it's not a raven. A chimney is gray, not black, so it's not a raven. Everything that is not white is not a raven. All non-white things are non-raven. Ravens are white because all ravens are white equal sign. All non-white things are not ravens. This proof is absurd. How can a shoe's color imply all ravens are black? The raven paradox is actually an absurdity that resulted from research in natural science. The raven paradox states that individual facts cannot prove a general conclusion. It reveals that natural science results are not as rigorous or rational as one might expect.